This is actually my favorite part. The sound of the ocean, complete privacy, oh, the serenity. The pool is right down here. Most people find it magical. There's... Everything okay? Yeah. It's a um, spectacular castle. And is that a problem? It's just I can't help wondering how many other girls have gotten this tour. Right. Well, I'm not going to deny that I brought other women up here. But, um... None of them were you. Check out that pool. Yeah. <laughs> I've got that dinner with my old friend from high school. You don't sound very thrilled about going. Yeah, you know, it's just Carly's always been really competitive, talking about her fabulous life nonstop. I bet no one's basing a character in their best selling mysteries on her. True. But the last time I talked to her, she just came back from the French Riviera with a count that she met in Monaco. And now I hear she's married to some big shot European businessman that she met on a yoga retreat and she's embraced the spiritual life. Well, you want me to tag along and regale her with tales of our crime solving adventures? Definitely not. You are exactly her type. And the last thing I need is to watch someone from my past trying to seduce my fiance while talking about the goddess that lives in her hoo-ha. She did ask for a signed book though. Who did Carly or the goddess? Beckett. Take a peek at this. It's Jong's personnel file. She's more than just some cop. Wait a minute, that US Chinese task force, she's not just on it, she's running it. Wow. Commendations, citations. Oh my gosh, she is impressive. Oh, sure, on paper. What about the way she schooled Orion and Esposito? Is that just on paper? Captain, I've been thinking about your proposal and I do see the advantage of us working together. Does the offer still stand? Yes. Okay. Then let's start with this. You had mentioned that before Henry died, he had gone to lunch and returned upset. I found that receipt in his pocket. From the Jay Temple restaurant in Chinatown. It's time stamped yesterday afternoon. Why don't the three of you check it out? See if there's anything about his lunch that can explain why he got killed. Okay. Hi, I'm Castle. We're partners. Actually, we're also married. Interesting arrangement. Yeah. This is going to be fun, this little threesome here. Investigatively speaking, I don't want to... Didn't mean to... I'm not trying to imply that... I didn't Quit while you're behind. Somehow, the fact that you did this makes you even more attractive. Yeah? Well, tell it to Jong. This is her target? And she has ten others just like it. Oh, well... So she's a good shot, big deal. She's good at everything. She's got an incredible career, movie star husband, perfect kids. She does it all, she has it all, and to top it off, she's gorgeous. Yeah, she is. Wait a minute, you think she's gorgeous? I was just agreeing with you. Okay, but did you think it before I said it? No. Oh my God, Castle, I haven't felt like this since I had pimples. I'm insecure. You're not insecure. Wait, if I'm not insecure, then why'd you say what you just said? Uh, look, you're doing it again. It's Patterson syndrome. I knew it was a bad idea for you to go out with her. No, no, Castle, I just wanted to see what made Jong tick. You know how she achieved what she did, so maybe that could help me move forward. Kate, you don't need her help. You're doing just fine. Yeah, but when you reach the peak of one mountain, isn't it time to scale another one? That sounds like something Jong would say. Are you quoting her? No. Look. You're idealizing Zhang. You're comparing yourself to a version of her that doesn't even exist. She is a human, like the rest of us, flaws and all. Not some infallible super cop who swoops in every time to save the day. Hey, Zhang's just got a lead that could crack this case. You were saying? 